State lawmakers will debate whether terminally ill patients will be allowed to decide when to end their life. They introduced today a death with dignity bill. Cardio News Channel 13's Dana Molina explains how it would work and how people are reacting to it. My dad wanted control and he wanted to die with his dignity intact. Fighting back tears, Julie Selzberg recalls the last moments before her dad died. It took his body 13 days to shut down, as if from dying from ALS wasn't cruel enough. But starving himself to death was the only legal option that he had. Selzberg stood with Colorado lawmakers as they introduced the Death with Dignity bill. A bill for terminally ill patients to choose when to die. It is a personal choice. It is a freedom that each individual should have. According to the bill, two doctors would have to determine that the patient is six months away from death and mentally competent. Patients would also have to be able to take the medication on their own. I think that's awful. Hedwig O'Grodney has pulmonary fibrosis. Her lungs are scarred. Last Thanksgiving, doctors told her she had two weeks left to live. She said goodbye to family and gave away pictures, but it wasn't time. I called my doctor in Denver and I said, Merry Christmas, I'm still here. And he said, you're unbelievable. O'Grotney says her death isn't up to doctors or her. I don't believe in that. God is the creator of everything. Some say, oh, I don't want to suffer that much. Well, suffering is a grace. And she has her pastor support. Human life is either is sacred, and just because you physically are not as good as you used to be does not mean you deserve a death sentence. It's a debate that's long from over. In Colorado Springs, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. And five other states already have laws in place that allow assisted suicide.